Hi gorgeous! Today's video is the first video of a new series I'm starting for you here on the channel and this is probably going to be the fourth video that I do in a week, if not one of the three, because I do want to keep the content diverse so there's something for everyone on this channel. But this series is going to focus on fair skin and the struggles that we face with having pale complexions. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos, please subscribe and you will get those notifications instantly. Now I am a nude lipstick junkie and I don't care who knows it. I live for nude lips. So for the first topic in this series, I wanted to focus on nude lipsticks for you because when you're really fair, it can be hard to find a nude lipstick that doesn't make you look like a corpse but still looks natural at the same time. In today's video, I'm sharing my top favorite nude lipsticks that I have gathered over the past couple years. But what I do want to say about these nude lipsticks is that some of them look good on their own and you can wear them just like that, but a majority of them do need to be combined up with another nude lipstick in my experience to get the most natural looking nude. So I'll share each of my nude lipstick favorites with you today and I'll also show you my favorite combinations with each of these for the most natural looking nude lip. But we'll start with each of the lipsticks and I'll show you what they look like in an up close swatch so you get an idea of what the lipstick looks like by itself. First one on my list is Chanel's Boy. This is one of the most perfect nude lipsticks I have ever come across. It is one that can be worn by itself and looks gorgeous just like that. Next one I have to share with you is Marc Jacobs' Strange Magic. Now this one can be rather hard to wear by itself, but it pairs up beautifully with other lipsticks as I'll show you later on in the video. Max Creme de Nude. This is one of my all-time favorites. I've replaced it at least three times by now. This is one you can wear by itself, but it does look really beautiful paired up with other lipsticks. Too Faced Melted Sugar. I love this one for the color, not so much for the consistency, but I do have a combination I'll be sharing with you later on that it works perfectly with. Clinique's Beige Pop, absolutely beautiful. This is one of those that can be worn by itself and does look like your lip color, but better. Max Myth. Now this is one of those colors that is really hard to wear by itself. But again, I have some excellent combinations with it that look phenomenal that I'll share with you in a minute. Anastasia's Pure Hollywood. I love this one for the color, not so much the formulation, but I've been able to pair it up with some other lip glosses to make it a lot more wearable. Another one of my favorite nude lipsticks is not so much nude, but it works really well as a base with some of the lighter nudes that I've shared with you is NARS Rakujian. This is one of their satin lip pencils, and like I said, I like to layer it under really light nude lipsticks, and it tends to balance them out. And a couple of my favorite nude lip liners that pair up so nicely with a variety of the lipsticks I've already shared with you are Clinique's Intense Blush Lip Liner, Beautiful Dusty Rose Neutral, and Rimmel's Addiction, which is a dupe for Max Staunchly Stylish, in case you're curious. But I like Rimmel's a little better because it's cheaper. I also have a couple of nude lip glosses to share with you that have become my top favorites. First one being Marc Jacobs' Moonwalk. This is a really light pink. And the second one is NARS Turkish Delight, which to me is one of the most versatile lip glosses that I own. On to the combinations. Okay, I have about nine of them to share with you, and it mixes together all of the lipsticks that I just mentioned. First combination is NARS Rakujian with Creme de Nude layered over the top. Beautiful lip color, very natural, one of my go-tos. Another one of my favorite combinations is taking Too Faced Melted Sugar Lipstick and layering that with Chanel's Boy. Now, like I mentioned, I don't really care for the melted lipstick formula from Too Faced, but when you layer something like Chanel's Boy over the top, which is very moisturizing, it makes your lips last longer. So you don't really have to worry so much about the Too Faced formula. Another great one for you to try is Clinique's Beige Pop layered with Marc Jacobs' Strange Magic with a little bit of Marc Jacobs' Moon Glow applied over the top. For Max Myth Lipstick, this is a really hard color for even me to wear. It does make me look like I have corpse lips, so I do have to combine it up with some other items. My most favorite way to wear it is with Rimmel's Addiction Lip Liner beautiful like that. Another way that I like to wear it is applying myth onto the lips and then layering it with NARS Turkish Delight lip gloss. And that's part of the combo that I'm wearing in today's video in case you've been curious. This is Rimmel's Addiction Lip Liner with Max Myth and I also layered NARS Turkish Delight over the top. 
Another combo for you to try is Anastasia's Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick layered with NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss, another one of my go-to favorites. And once again, the lip gloss does make it a lot more wearable and actually helps it to last a lot longer too. Combining up Clinique's Beige Pop with Marc Jacobs' Moon Glow Lip Gloss is also another really beautiful combination for you to try. Another great combo for you to try to make Marc Jacobs' Strange Magic more wearable is to layer it with Chanel's Boy. I find that combining these two up creates a very beautiful nude lip, but you don't have those corpse lips that Strange Magic might give you by itself. And finally, one of my all-time favorite combinations is taking Clinique's Intense Blush Lip Liner and combining it up with MAC's Creme de Nude Lipstick. Now those are just a few of my favorite nude lipstick combinations, but you could play around to your heart's content and get so many combinations out of the lineup that I gave you today. So it's really up to you to play around and experiment and see what works for you. Now, if there is a topic that you'd like to see covered in this Fair Skin series, please feel free to let me know below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos in the Fair Skin series, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.